Hi, thanks for joining us again. This is being brought to you by CTSI Aloha and the Remakery Aloha. Uh, today we're going to have a look at crafting some of these, which are thistles out of chicken wire. I don't know if you can see a couple in the flower beds behind me here as well. And it's a very simple and very quick craft. What we're going to need for this is a bit of chicken wire. I'm using a light to form the, the bulb part of the thistle, but anything round that you can use to, to, form, to form the circle is fine. Uh, we've got canes for the stock, we have some cable ties, we have wire cutters for cutting your length of chicken wire. These are for bending the, the wire in the bottom, these are just pliers. Some jute string and a couple of different colours of spray paint. If you're cutting your chicken wire, what you're looking for is to have enough chicken wire at the bottom to create a hold around your cane and enough chicken wire at the top so that you can create the, the sort of uh, petal details of the thistle. So as long as you've got that, and it will be dependent on whatever size you're using to, to work around, whatever whatever size the, the ball is or um, or garden light <laughs> that you're working with. So all we're going to do is wrap this around and we're going to keep it as tight as possible at the bottom. And we're just going to roll that round. Okay, so what we're then going to do is we are going to press this in here so that that will give us the head of our thistle. And we're also going to press this in at the bottom just to give us a circular shape. You can use uh, the pliers if it makes it easier for you. So, pull that off. And we get our cane. And to, to secure this on, you can either use hot glue or cable ties, just like I've got here. So we're just going to put one round here. And pull that as tight as you can. And trim off the excess. Okay, so we've got this. Now it's slightly misshapen, so just work with the shape a little bit and you can use your fingers or the pliers, whichever you prefer, to pull your shape out. Any little bits that are sticking out, these bits that are uncut, I'm just pushing them in and folding them inside. So what we're then going to do is pull these bits back and tease these out and this is going to give us the head of our thistle. Now you can trim these and you can cut them off a little bit just to give you a better shape and a more true thistle form. So that we end up with something like this. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit there. Slightly misshapen. Now you can use a cable tie round the top as well so we can do that just to give us even more of a, a thistle shape if we so wish. And again just trim the excess. Now, this bit's also slightly longer, so I'm just going to trim these down. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to jump to inside because I have to get the hot glue gun, um, which isn't battery operated. And then we're going to finish shaping the ball of the thistle and add some of these details and then some colour. Join us back in just a sec. So we're back with our chicken wire thistle. Pull that down a little bit, like this. And we've got our glue gun here and we've got some string as well. So what we're going to do, the, the glue gun is across at the plug point, but 
I'll just show you a little close up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue here and I'm going to lay this over the top and then I'm going to wrap it round and I'm going to continue that all the way up here. Okay? So I'm just going to do that just now. And you can use your pliers to help you um, hold and fasten the chicken wire in if you require. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut these bits and I'm going to try and make lots of these little bits stick out. So I'm just going to use the glue and cut sections of this and glue it on the sides to give us some texture on the stem. Just so you can see a little close up, we are just gluing that on with hot glue. We can get rid of the spider webs later. And then we're going to split them. So we're just going to split the string, just unpleat it to give us some more texture. So keep doing that until you feel happy with it. And then we'll join you back for painting. We have here how it's looking so far. Again, I have to remove some of the spider webs of the glue from it. Um, but what I've done is the bits that I've trimmed off that were perhaps too long, just the singular strands, I've just then used hot glue to glue them on and give us a little bit more texture round about the base of the thistle. So now we're going to paint. Spray paint is the easiest and quickest way to paint, especially if it's for something outside in the garden and if it's something like chicken wire, when you're going to have actually quite a lot to try and cover um, that you probably won't be able to get to with a paintbrush. So I've just got a dark colour for the stem here and I've got, this is a plastic coat um, that you can get in B&M and things in a purple lilac as well and that's what we're going to colour our thistle. Now you may find that you want to cut down the lines of the chicken wire here and pull them out slightly, that will just give you a better shape. Uh, and now we are going to spray the stock and that should be our craft done. Sorry, excuse the rustling. That is one scrap made thistle. I hope you enjoyed making them. Um, please drop any comments below or any, any feedback that you have. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.